Hey everybody, how's it going? So today I want to discuss some of my old videos that I did on business failure and a principle that I th really wish I had followed back then that probably would have helped me a lot. Also for someone who asks, no, I do not wear the same shirt every day. I actually have a closet with about five or 10 of these. I despise clothing shopping. I really do. So if I find something that fits well, that I like, that is on clearance, I'll I literally just buy the whole stack. So if there's, you know, a shirt that I find or a set of jeans I like and it fits and it's in the 10 to $5 rack, I'll grab the entire rack because I hate, hate clothes shopping. So in my closet, I have like 10 black polos, I think like 10 of these white shirts and probably like 10 gray Under Armour shirts. They're not the same one. It's literally, it literally looks like Homer Simpson's uniform in my closet. Anyway, so getting on to this. So these are a few old videos I did on why my old business failed. This is another business on another video on why I don't grow my business where I go over a lot of my old business failures here. And, uh, Let's see. Yeah, this is another one where I was talking about why I was wrong about a, another company that did mu admittedly way better than my company ever did. And in these videos, I was discussing some of my, my business failures. Now, one of the things that I used to do back then when, when it failed and how I talk about in the video is once I realized that I completely destroyed this business opportunity, I and I just destroyed the business, it was gone. I remember sitting in my recliner and just being really sad and going, man, I can't believe how stupid I was. I can't believe I did that. I did something so dumb. You don't deserve to have a business. You don't deserve that opportunity. Someone else could have had that opportunity. Man, that was stupid. And I kept telling myself that I did something stupid and that it was bad. I turned it into a bad thing. And that's what I think a lot of people do because that's what I see a lot of people do when they do something horribly stupid. They beat themselves up. And the problem with beating yourself up, everybody says, you know, don't beat yourself up over that. But they never really explain why you shouldn't beat yourself up. And if you don't give a why, then people are not going to listen to you. My dad taught me that. He said, you can never tell someone to do something without telling them the how and the why. You know, why, why should I listen to you? Even if you're a princess, you know, school principal talking to a kid, you don't have authority with them unless you can convince them of something. So here's the why you shouldn't beat yourself up. If you beat yourself up, that's a negative connotation, which means that whatever you did, you're not going to do again. We seek to avoid situations where we get beat up, whether it's mentally, emotionally, or physically. So if you beat yourself up when you realize that you've done something incredibly stupid, what does that mean you're going to do? It doesn't mean you're not going to do something stupid. It means that you've just created a mental incentive structure to avoid being honest with yourself about when you're doing something stupid. So if acknowledging that you've done something dumb means you're going to beat yourself up, you don't want to get beat up, right? So what if what I did wasn't that stupid after all? Maybe I'm just going to look for confirmation bias and information that supports that I didn't do something stupid, even if that's clearly not the case. Whereas if you, when you do something really dumb like what I did back then, which is a lot of dumb shit, and you go, wow, I did something really stupid. That was horrible. I can't believe I did something that was that poorly thought through. Man, that was, that was greedy or that was mean or that was, you know, just bad. Oh, thank God I figured that out. Now I know not to do it again. Man, good job, Lewis. Good job. And you know, I pat myself on the back. I really work myself up and go, man, I, you know, Lewis, you did a good thing figuring that out. Because if you didn't figure that out, oh, my God, your life would be hell. You would be done for. That's a good thing because now your brain has a positive association with the fact that you uh, th that you figured out you did something stupid, which means you're going to look for more of it. So, you know, okay, now I have a positive association with me figuring out I've done something wrong. So now let me look through my whole life and figure out all the things I've done that are stupid because now you're not, be remember, you're not beating yourself up, so you're not going to avoid it. You're patting yourself on the back for it. You're giving some positive reinforcement when you figure out you're doing something stupid, which means that you're going to stop doing stupid things because you're going to look through your life and be incentive the incentive structure is going to be there for you to look through your life and figure out how often have I been lying to myself? How often have I, how often have I been doing something stupid? Am I doing something stupid here? Because now I don't punish people who tell me I do something stupid. I pat them on the back. So now your brain is not going to suppress that urge to be honest with yourself about what you're doing being dumb. There are many times in the past where I didn't want to face that horrible feeling that I had done something stupid because I know I beat myself up. So what I did is I took a semi-bad situation and I turned it into a horrible one by continuing to operate that way for a long time. If I, at that point in time, had half a brain and said, wait, what if I uh, am positive about the fact that I just, you know, avoided ruining my life? I was this close to ruining my life, and I didn't. I was this close to ruining my business, and if I had kept doing that, I would have ruined my whole life, and I didn't. Man, thank God. That was, whew, what a close one. Then I would have been more open to doing that on a regular basis. And I probably would have made a lot less stupid business decisions. And it's something I'm trying to do now. When I do something that's stupid, rather than 
just to, you know, tr try to look for confirmation bias or reasons to convince myself that it's not. I'll try to, is this stupid? Okay, yeah, what I did was pretty stupid. Okay, let's, thank God I found it. Man, thank God I figured that out. So now I know not to do that ever again. Man, I'm, I'm so glad I didn't ru ruin my business or ruin this relationship or ruin my life. I really wish I thought that way back then, and I didn't. So a lot, again, a lot of people used to you know say, oh, don't beat yourself up. It's just one of those things people say. It's like one of those things like, it can always be worse. And uh, it's, it's not helpful to give that advice without saying why you shouldn't beat yourself up. And the why is that if you beat yourself up when you do something wrong, then that little part of your brain that figures out when you're doing something wrong and tells you is just going to stop talking because he doesn't want to get beat up anymore. I want the part of my brain that tells me when I'm doing something that's bad for me or stupid to feel encouraged and emboldened to speak up whenever possible because I do stupid things all the time and I need that little voice in my brain to tell me when I, so I stop doing them. And this also goes hand in hand with a video that I did a while back that says if the meaning of if I didn't laugh, I'd cry. So in this video, I was going over a uh, saying that my dad used to have, which is, is you, you know, it, one of the reasons that when I would ask him after something horrible happened, why are you laughing? He'd say, if I didn't laugh, I'd cry. Because if when, when something really, really, really bad happens, and you, you, I think this was his kind of way of giving the same advice. Uh, I was referring to when he had knee surgeries or, uh, or shoulder surgeries or had to change careers or when his marriage went bad or when he went broke or any of these things that are just horrible things to have happen to you. Why are you laughing? Because if I didn't laugh, I'd cry. And he'd say, you want to go play a game of Crash Bash in the basement? We'd go play a video game. He'd, be, he'd smile and go on his way. And I, you know, because at the end of the day, the beating yourself up, it, it doesn't actually do anything. It doesn't get you to the next step. It's not going to change where you are. And uh, it's, it's, a, it's a lesson that really took me a while to learn in life. And if I had learned that lesson sooner, if someone had told me this when I was younger, then my old business may not have failed. Because instead of just going full steam ahead with a bad idea... And what if that voice was encouraged to speak up? What if every time I was doing something really stupid or screwed up an opportunity, I gave it positive reinforcement so that I would listen to that voice before something turned into an absolute disaster? Anyway, that, that, that's just a thought that popped in my head. See you all in the next video. Bye now.